Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Breakfast Negroni in version one. <sighs> Great cocktail to have yeah. in the first thing in the morning, right? Yeah, it's one of our cocktails where we use a cereal-infused ingredient. So we've got our Campari here that we, uh, that we used uh, Fruit Loops to infuse with. Yep. And so it gives it a, a nice, bright, colorful, sugary uh, sweetness to it. Yeah. Uh, but it still has that bitter component that you would get from Campari. Yeah. This is your standard Negroni, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Although, every much, everything is tweaked about it. Yep. So it's sort of weird in a way. Because we want to showcase that bright sweetness from the Campari. So we use an Old Tom gin, mm -hmm. right? Instead of the London Dry Style gin. Yeah, we do that because we, we don't want to have so much of that strong botanical in there. Because that's going to hide the sweetness that we're looking for. So this is... Little milder uh, botanicals, a little bit sweeter than that London style dry yeah. gin. And then we've chosen also a s sort of vermouth that's very delightful, mm -hmm. the Dolan Rouge, but sort of just kind of mid range, always there, very pleasant, but it's not going to shock you in any particular dimension, right? Yeah, and again, that way it doesn't overpower the the bright sweetness that we're going to get from the Fruit Loops in the, yeah. in the Campari. And we love our Negronis, and we always, t this is one of our favorite cocktails to tweak, mm -hmm. right? We have crazy things that we've tweaked with it, like our Boni Negroni. That's right. And our Spumoni Negroni, and all sorts of crazy little ones, so check mm -hmm. all those out if you want. Um, and you can see uh, how we make the Fruit Loops infused Campari on our uh, another video also, just check that out. That's right. Um, so let's begin and make this thing. Let's We're make gonna it. start with one and a half ounces of the Old Tom style gin. We're using the Heyman's variety here today. There you go. But you're starting to see a lot of old time gins back on the shelves of the liquor stores today, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It kind of preceded the London Dry Style gin. Yeah. And then people started making them with all these botanicals and they knocked people's socks off. Right. That's what I often hear when somebody's, you know, say they don't like gin. Well, I don't like the, yeah. the sharpness of it. Right. So I always tell them, well, try an old time exactly. style. It's a good gateway gin, right? Mm -hmm. That's One right. ounce of the Fruit Loops infused Campari, and then just a half ounce of the sweet vermouth. The sweet vermouth has the bold sweetness to it. A little bit of bitterness in there too, of course. But a nice compliment to the bright sweetness hints you get from the Fruit Loops. So you're gonna add ice, and then stir it to chill. Then we're going to double strain that into our glass here. We're going to use a coupe glass. Such a delicious, delightful cocktail. Mm -hmm. Still very bitter, that nice rindy bitterness. And then we're going to just put a handful of Fruit Loop pieces right on the top. And there you have your breakfast Negroni version one. Enjoy. Cheers.